Last, but not least, a trip to the final two regions of this series of Italy's best 20 wine regions to visit and enjoy, are the islands of Sicily and Sardinia, who epitomize the two extremes of Italian wines and winemaking. The two islands of Italy are very different to one another in many ways, and yet both produce very high-quality wines. Sicily could be described as the extrovert, with Sardinia being the introvert. So what is it that makes them so different to one another? Before you find out, you may want to subscribe to the Expat Essentials for Italy YouTube channel, and to then click the bell icon to avoid missing out on important news, and further videos, on expat life in Italy. And feel free to share the link and video too. Plus, if you watch the video to the very end, you'll be able to gain access to a special guide that'll make your introduction to La Dolce Vita, even sweeter. And as a double bonus, look out for details of a video being released and uploaded to this channel, to help wind up this series of Italy's best 20 wine regions to visit and enjoy. Firstly, although both Sicily and Sardinia are about the same size of about 25,000 square kilometers, Sardinia is less populated with just under 2 million inhabitants compared to over 5 million in Sicily. And this might account for the fact that Sardinia is regarded as being more upmarket compared to Sicily. The capital, Cagliari, is regarded as a trendy city, with chic and expensive restaurants, whilst the island itself has some of the best sandy beaches in the world. Palermo, the capital of Sicily, is more frayed around the edges, and is more like the bustling and busy cities on the mainland, dusty and chaotic, but with charming villages and historic ruins. Sicily is also forged with an ancient Greek influence. So, on to the first island and region. Number 1. Sicily. This is the southernmost wine region of the country, and the largest island of the Mediterranean. Hot and bright sunshine with a moderate amount of rainfall provide near-perfect conditions to grow vines, so it's not surprising to recognize the importance of wine production to the island. Sicily is home to the famous dessert wine Masala. More land than in any other region is devoted to growing vines, however, age-old traditions abound, producing red wines such as Nero d'Avola and white wines like Cattarato. Pasta alla norma is a popular local pasta dish, whilst the sweet pastry of cannoli, the staple diet of the doctor in the Inspector Montalbano detective series, is one of Sicily's better-known exports. Eat these, and other delicious Sicilian dishes, with a glass or two of Cattarato white wine especially with friends. Number 2. Sardinia. Not noted for its wine-producing qualities, Sardinia still produces local white wines such as Naragas and Nasco, as well as Vermentino and Muscat Blanc. Cananoru is the main red wine, produced from the grape of the same name, which accounts for about one-third of the island's wine production. One interesting aspect of Sardinian wines is the Spanish influence on Cananoru and Vermentino. The climate and geography of Sardinia is perfect for producing wines, but the region is a bit laid back in its attitude towards the wine industry. Fish plays a prominent part in the food of Sardinia, so a spaghetti al vongole matched with one of the local Naragas or Nasco white wines goes well. Now for that special guide, entitled, How to Create Your Italian Experience, we referred to earlier. Just click on the URL link in the description box below this video, plus, please leave a positive comment below, and then, please share with friends, too. Enjoy! Keep a lookout, too, for a bonus video being uploaded to this channel soon, that will itself include a free download to help you plan your exciting trips and visits to Italy, to take full advantage of Italy's 20 wine regions and culinary delights. Finally, before you go, check out the videos about to come up on the end screen, where you can find more helpful information to help you with your adventures as an expat in Italy. Until next time, ciao for now.